low, low, and these are all low suggestions, low and mercury suggestions. So monkfish is a good choice, flounder, cod. Okay. Halibut is medium, but that would be okay since salmon. 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 Uh, salmon provided it's wild. So don't be fooled by organic farm, don't be fooled by farmed. Okay, no farmed fishes are healthy at all. Okay. Tilapia has to be wild, most of it is farmed. So you have to be really careful with that. Why is farmed not good? Um, because of the environment that the fish are, are actually bred. But also the food that they're fed. They're fed, are, you know, pellets. They're not really feeding off oh, of sea fresh. vegetation. Exactly. And, you know, what is the organic farming? Why are they saying that that's better, and you're saying that we shouldn't have it going? Um, because it doesn't, it doesn't protect you from the whole mercury thing. Because the water could contain mercury that they actually farm the fish in. Okay. So the water source is the concern too. That makes a huge difference. Um, so we said flounder, cod, monkfish, uh, scrod, which is basically baby cod. Uh, that's another good source. And red snapper, okay, that's a very good source. Sardines, those of you who like sardines. Okay, um, let's see what else. Um, a canned salmon, if, yeah, because most of it is wild. So that's actually fine. So that's very good. Okay, yes? The olive oil and the sardines, is that significant or not? Uh, make sure it says extra virgin. Because <coughs> if it just says in olive oil, you know, you know what olive oil you're getting. Yeah, that would be fine. And then you can find low mercury tuna. Some of you have seen it in cans. So if you get a low mercury tuna, that would be another good source as well um, of a low mercury fish. But it does have to say on the can that it's low in mercury. <coughs> if it doesn't, don't buy it. All right, those are probably the safer uh, types of fish. Swordfish. Swordfish is one of the highest, unfortunately. And fresh tuna, too, that's the other problem. And mercury will affect metabolism. So it definitely has that impact as well. Okay, and then finally, how many of you know that you can now do a genetic test to see what genes you have and what's the best type of program for you for weight loss? So that was another um, breakthrough, just in, actually just a few months ago that came out um, out of Europe. And they actually now have weight loss panels where you can actually get your uh, gene testing done and find out what would be best for you. Where would you do that? Well, actually, we are the only ones in New York State that are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes, if any of you are interested, definitely. And all you need is just a small fingerprint. It's just a fingerprint. And uh, it'll tell us what your uh, genes are, so we know what diet you do better with. Exactly. No, it's really fascinating. So that's the latest, you know, getting information on helping with uh, body fat and metabolism. So remember, these are all um, pointers for helping you to really get going on a weight loss program and to maintain your weight healthily. But make sure that you really combine that you know, with a healthy exercise program, and, and an exercise program that's eventually challenging for you to keep doing the same thing over and over, it's not gonna help you to lose weight. You've gotta really be challenging yourself um, with exercise. Um, but I'll take a couple more questions and then we'll wrap it up. So, everyone's all set? Oh, one more question? Yes. Yeah, Just to, uh, for your liver, when you want to have blood work done, what, what test is that to see how your liver is functioning? How your liver is functioning? Yeah, what's that test called that you, you check off on? Oh, liver, well, liver enzymes, liver. doing a liver. But the liver enzyme test doesn't often tell you the actual function of the liver. Right. You have to go uh, deeper than that. Okay, so the, the most effective way to test for that is to, uh, doing a detoxification panel, but that is not done through traditional lab testing. There's outside labs that do that. But it's not indicated, when dairy is not indicated, would that include a lac the lactate products? Yes. And the problem with dairy is that it is it increases estrogen. So and it's the unhealthy it's estrogen. Lactate, lactose free. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I wouldn't even bother with any of the lactose free products, exactly. Because in men especially, dairy products really increases um, estrogens and actually lowers testosterone, which you don't want. I was going to ask you about calcium. What form you like? What form? Okay, if you can tolerate citrate is fine. If it doesn't loosen you up too much, 
uh, chelate, which is C-H-E-L-A-T-E. And then if you have bone loss or are starting to lose bone, then the best uh, one for bone building um, is called um, MCHC, type of calcium. Okay, and that's one, MCHC. Okay, that's one of the best type of uh, calciums for bone building. I've been told I should shoot for like 15 to 18 milligrams a day. Uh, yeah, calcium. but you wouldn't need to take as much if you're taking MCHC calcium. Okay. But if I like I eat a yogurt, I count that. I count what's in a multivitamin. Okay. Right. I mean. Well, no, because the multi interferes with calcium. You never take your calcium with multi. You always take it at a separate time. Separate time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't count the calcium that's in the multi because yeah. that's not going to be absorbed. Does the MSHC have, um, you're supposed to take it with vitamin D and magnesium? Yes, very good. So one, the one way to really enhance calcium is to add magnesium and vitamin D to that. And is that in there, or do you have to do it separately? Uh, sometimes if you get a good formula, it will have it all in there. Exactly. You had a question. Here, right? um, I'm always hearing about uh, oatmeal in the morning. Um, the oatmeal is very good, provided you combine it with an egg or two. I mean, again, you need to have protein. You don't just have the starch. Yeah. yeah, well, nuts are not enough. Nuts are more fat than protein, by the way. Don't be fooled by that. Okay, really, when we're talking about protein, we're talking about eggs, um, turkey sausages, a protein powder, protein bar. Exactly.